Hey guys and welcome back to another figure review. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. Work's just been crazy again and yeah, just been struggling to find the time. But I uh, put together a couple of videos this morning. Um, being Saturday, I think it's the 10th or the 11th now. I can't remember. Um, I think it's the 11th. Anyway, whatever. I uh, picked up Ray last night. In this, These two sets are Kmart exclusives in the USA. Um... They've come out in Big W stores down here in Australia. Ray's not due out until the 16th, but a few Big W stores have been letting them slip out a little bit early. And um, I managed to pick her up last night. So I decided to get the two sets together and do a bit of a video. Um, I'm probably not going to go into too much detail on the figures. Um, maybe citing just their differences from the regular regular releases, because aside from that, they are the same. Um varying degrees of different accessories and stuff so either way we'll go and have a quick look at the box is the one for kylo ren as you can see on the back there and have a quick read of that and then the latest release of ray star killer base There we go. Nothing too special there. Um, so these are actually really good prices. Um, there's still Kylo Ren's around and Big W's have marked them down to about $25 each. Um, this was actually released at $35 originally, which is the same price as a regular standard Black Series figure. And now that Ray's out, she's $39, which is still okay. Um, still less than most places charge regular retail for but um the cool thing is um that these sort of depict the scene at the end obviously the lightsaber duel on star killer base um i wish they gave it a little bit of pre-thought released the kylo ren later and gave him the unmasked version of kylo um there's a lot of people doing customs out there and custom head sculpts to give him an un unmasked kylo ren uh head but it still looks cool either way <coughs> excuse me um I guess the bonus with these sets are the bases. Um, so you've got the sort of snowy ice base, and then you've got this extra piece at the back, which, which looks cool. It, it looks pretty cool, just as a little bit of a backdrop. Um, it'd be cool to see more deluxe figures sort of like this with the little bonus stand or, um, you know, a bit of an environment. It looks quite cool. Um, the only bummer about these stands is they. I wish they had peg holes, because they, they don't stand very tight they've got footholds but it's not very tight but what we'll do is we'll move Ray out of the way for the moment and we'll just have a quick look at Kylo Ren and how he differs camera up a bit closer now as you can see they've given him a bit of weathering on the bottom of his uh, robe here it's a bit of just the white snow and white spots same on his legs his pants and boots it's mostly his boots. Just a bit of a white spray just to give it that sort of snowy look. But it looks quite good. It's not bad. Um, the only other difference with this Kylo Ren is um, the hand. He's sort of got that force motion there, which is really cool. Um, that would have been cool to see on the regular release. But nonetheless, cool to see it now. And they've given him a full lightsaber and a hilt. Um, I've put the lightsaber hilt in the accessories box at the moment. I forgot to grab it out. But instead of having that sort of weird connected blade, which I ended up doing, fixing anyway, I didn't like it that much. They've given us just a full, a full lightsaber, which is nice. Um, I prefer that a lot. A lot more to what they gave us. Um, apart from that, I believe this is the same as the regular release Kylo. Um... I don't think anything else has changed. I know there have been revisions of the Kylo figure itself, like the single cut, single boxed um, Kylo, where they've changed that and they've made the hood a little bit smaller, so he's um, so it's not so sort of hanging over like that. But overall, it's pretty nice. Articulation's the same. I'm not going to go through it. Um, I just want to have a quick look at these sets. And here's the base, as you can see. Some peg holes would have been really nice, if not tighter foot holes so they sort of slot in that would have been nice but this is a pretty nicely made piece 
looks quite good. It's a nice base. He does stand in it pretty well once you get the footing right and get him balanced. He does sort of sit in it pretty well. All right, let's have a look at Ray. So the figures is pretty much the same, um, or it is the same as the regular release. This sort of given her the updated face paint, whereas in the original um, release she had a lot really blushy cheeks, and this one they've sort of tidied that up a little bit. Um, obviously they've taken away her um, her weapon, her staff, and given her the lightsaber instead, which is nice. Overall, it's it's pretty much the same figure. She's got a bit of weathery on her boots as well. Which isn't overly drastic, but it's still nice either way. Still a nice figure. Um, still want to modify it a little bit so she can bring her arms a bit closer together there. Um, so I might just heat it up and bring it so those arms can bend in a little bit more, if not around the sleeves. Um, just so her arms can bend in just a little bit more and hold it better with two hands. But it's not so bad at the moment. So, she, so she's pretty cool. Um, her base is a lot different. It's a lot more icy you know, if we compare it to um, Kylo's. Sort of see the differences there as well as the bottom. This one's. So I'm not sure whether the uh, Ray set was actually an afterthought and released a bit later um, just to decide as a counter. Um, counterpart to the Kylo but either way it's pretty cool though I like it it's a nice set it's a cool piece I think they've done well with these <clears throat> and then we've just got this other standalone piece here just a few like ice blocks which looks really cool the snow sitting on top I really like that you could use this in your three and three quarter Hoth display. You could chuck these and chuck some figures around it. That'll look pretty cool as well. Just have a few figures sitting behind them. That'll look great, great too. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I really like this, really like this set. And um, I wasn't gonna open one. I've had Kylo sealed in the box for a few months now. Um, and yeah, last night I got the Ray and yeah, I decided to open up and display them. I wanted to get them both before I uh, open them up. Otherwise, I would have, if they weren't, weren't going to do a ray, I would have just left Kylo um, in the box. But they look, they look great together like that. So, really happy with this set. Um, happy to happy to have both of them together. They look great. I'm going to try and get some. I'm trying to going to try and get them again so I can keep a couple boxed. Um, I just think they, they still look good either way in boxes at Oriart. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Any comments and feedback below, please go ahead and drop a comment. Just say hello. And um, yeah, I'll be back soon with some more videos. Until then, may the force be with you. See you guys.